This is about people's lives and then, of course, consequentially, their livelihoods, particularly the lives of many of our vulnerable people, our parents and grandparents, the disadvantaged and the first Australians. We owe them our best. It's pretty hard to self-isolate if you're homeless. This is also about our economy. We will support both stimulus packages, not because they are perfect but because they are urgent. We want this package to work and to work quickly. People's lives are at stake. We're concerned about the lack of direct support that would keep people in their jobs. The business measures do not guarantee support for workers because it's calculated on people being in work in February, not now or in the future. Uh, youth allowance, AB study and Ausstudy recipients uh, do not receive the coronavirus supplement. Various visa holders also aren't giving, getting the support that we believe they need. There are sectors that I think could be given more support. Today of all days we think of our teachers. What remarkable people. They're certainly not childminders. They're people who, each and every day, whether they work in the public system, the Catholic system or the independent system, create future Australians with their knowledge and their commitment. And we respect uh, those for the work that they are doing. We also think of other sectors that haven't got specific support at this point. The arts and entertainment industry, so important for the quality of our lives, needs, in my view, direct support in order to be sustained into the future so that as we come out of this, this diabolical circumstance, uh, we recognise that the quality of our lives isn't just about money, it's about culture and experience and community and belonging. And we will need that more than ever as we come out of this process. We, of course, have expressed concerns about the early accessing of superannuation. Selling your super at the bottom of the market will risk squandering people's hard-earned retirement savings. And it's also the case if the superannuation industry is forced to sell assets at the bottom of the market, that also is not sensible economics. And we say to the government that we have been as supportive as possible and we will not be moving amendments where there is any doubt we will give the benefit to the government. We are not looking for arguments, we are looking for solutions. But on some of these measures, please listen to the arguments. Recognise that we on this side of the parliament do, do represent, by the way, the largest political party in this parliament, the largest. Our views should be taken into account, even though uh, we will vote for, as we've said, the package if our amendments are not successful. We've given that commitment. But I believe uh, we are right on that issue and the government should consider alternative measures to put dollars in the pockets of low-income workers other than by doing that at the expense of the quality of life in their retirement. In today's emergency session of parliament, there are few of us here, but our actions today will be felt and measured for a very long time. We are elected to this place to serve the Australian people. Today we feel the weight of our nation's need. Never has our duty been so urgent. I lead a Labor team determined to be constructive, and Labor stands ready to play our role. We want to help the government to get it right and this parliament to get it right, all of us. We find ourselves in a time like no other. We, the Australian people, must, in our isolation, come together. Remember who we are. We are the people who came together selflessly in the recent bushfire crisis. Now is not a time for me, 
Now is the time for us. Let's spread kindness and humanity, not coronavirus. The months ahead will be difficult. There will be pain and suffering. Our country, our world has changed, but this will not last forever. Things will be different after this. I am an optimist. I have faith in the people of Australia, faith in our people's courage, faith in our people's sense of community, faith in our people's compassion for one another, and that gives me the faith that we will get through this together. Yeah.